Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I am feeling absolutely amazing right now because eating animal-based foods make me feel really amazing. And I wanted to talk about why so many vegans and people that also promote the plant-based diet really have such a skewed view on nutrition that can be very, very dangerous for people. And that's why the title of the video is called Vegans Know Nothing About Nutrition and Thriving. And I was meant to be making another video, but before I went to make this video, I felt drawn to show my girlfriend some ex-vegans videos where they switched over to eating animal foods and the profound changes that they'd noticed. And it was very interesting. I looked at one from Tim Sheaf and Kasumi Chris. And they stopped being vegan over a year ago. If you haven't seen these videos, I'll put a link for them down below so you can check them out. And guess what? Around that time, I was vegan and I made response videos to them. I'll also put links down below for my response videos. And what is very interesting from seeing them previously and seeing them now where I'm at, I have a completely different view. Before, I just said, oh, you're just doing things wrong with your diet and you need to just take this supplement to correct this deficiency and this and that and that and that, which I was just caring about them and I saw that they just weren't thriving on a vegan diet, so that's why I did it. But now I am on the other side. Guess how I perceive it. First off, it brought up a lot of intense emotions for me because I can now completely understand and relate to them fully from my own personal experience of not thriving on a vegan diet after being on it for almost six years. And if you haven't seen that video, I put a link for it up above. And yeah, just listening to them as a whole, both of them were listing off all the negative symptoms that are being induced within their body holistically and within their mind and their emotional body as well. And almost everything they said that they had going on that had been caused by this malnourishing vegan diet was so similar to many of the things that happened to me. And then when they made the switch, they started getting all of the same benefits. And it was just so amazing for me to listen to them. It's like I was listening to someone that was like a clone of me. It was a really, really profound experience. And the reason why it made me feel very emotional because I could just feel into their pain because they were going through the start of this journey because they'd held on to this vegan diet for so long and they've been suffering and then they found a way with animal-based foods that was making them feel so good. And they were having to go through this whole huge process of completely changing their belief system and perception around eating animal foods. And I can see it was quite hard for them and it has been quite hard for me because I do care about the animals. And that is why I do not pay for factory farmed meats or just give any money to these factory farmed companies out there that are mass producing animal foods for people to eat because they are horrific with how they treat the animals and what they do to them. So I'm always getting the highest quality meats that are grass fed, pasture raised, free range. They are treated in the most ethical ways possible and they are given the best life that they can be given. And I've had quite a few people that have mentioned to me, well, where are you getting that? I'm in Thailand, I don't know where to get that. I put a link down below for a company that can deliver these products to your door. They're some of the most highest quality of these animal foods in the world. And there'll be a 500 baht discount code for you. So I'm being as conscious as I possibly can, just like them. And it was just so refreshing for me to listen to them because it was just confirming to me that I'm doing the best thing for me. But there's so many vegans that say, well, these animal foods are so bad for you. There's nothing in the animal foods that you can't get on a vegan diet or whatsoever, especially if you're in a whole food, plant-based, balanced vegan diet, you're gonna get everything that you need and the things that you can't get in the diet your body creates, which I used to believe those type of dogmatic views like crazy. And then you'll get the vegans that when you try and disprove them, they say, well, look at this scientific study and this bit of science and this and that and that. And it's like, to be honest with science, you can find things that say a specific thing and then there could be another scientific study that conflicts it. So do you know what I say to people? Screw what? These vegan doctors or just people that promote and preach this diet, if it's not working for you, it doesn't matter how much science there is, it isn't working for you. 
Your body knows best. And I'm telling you now, there are so many things on a vegan diet that you will not get in abundance, such as creatine, which yes, our body does produce creatine, but for a lot of people, it's not producing enough. Cholesterol, which turns into pregnenolone, and then all the other hormones, as you can see here. Jesus Christ, how many vegans do I see on a regular basis and over the period of time that I've been vegan for the last six years until just recently that are showing so many signs of hormonal imbalances and then they're not getting enough of the nutrients they need such as iodine and selenium and so forth to optimize their thyroid function and so many other nutrients as well which are just non-existent in vegan foods or your body just doesn't produce a lot of it so you just cannot be the healthiest and thrive rather than just survive which what is exactly what I had been doing and as I mentioned in a video not long ago and I will mention it again is that I thought I was thriving the majority of time for six years on a vegan diet, except for the last three months, which I've mentioned in videos time and time again. But how I'm now feeling on an animal-based food diet is the best that I have ever felt in my life. When I compare how I feel at my best now on this diet compared to how I felt on a vegan diet at my best, it just doesn't compare whatsoever. So to me, it shows that it's working for me and it's exactly what my body needs. And I'm pretty much only sticking to whole foods. And that is what we would be doing in our natural environment. We wouldn't be very dogmatic to say, oh, we're not gonna only eat this food because of this reason and that food we're only gonna eat because of this and so on and so on. No, we would eat a different wide variety of foods that would vary from season to season. There'd be times where we'd be eating a lot of berries and other fruits and then there'd be times we haven't got access to it when it gets to the colder seasons like it is here now in Thailand with the rainy season and then we'd eat more animal foods and seafood and so on. It's just absolutely ridiculous to put ourselves in a box and that's what I did and that's what they did and so many vegans have now made the switch and it's only vegans that haven't made the switch. They're still just grinding out and blaming so many other things for causing them to not feel the best within themselves when actually it's right in front of them what's not working and it is their vegan diet. And guess what almost all of us end up doing? We go down the path of doing like fruit only and then we try like vegan ketogenic diets and then loads of fasting and this thing and that thing and that thing. And again, it's not addressing the root cause of the issue. And then a lot of us finally come to the conclusion in the end where it gets to a point where we just say enough is enough. It gets the breaking point. And even though we don't feel 100% comfortable with eating these foods when we first start to make the switch, we have to do it because it is violent to ourselves to allow ourselves to just deteriorate on a vegan diet that is not working for us. And that is exactly what I am doing and what they did. I'm just being as self-loving as I possibly can and just being the most conscious around my animal food choices to get them from the most ethical sources possible. And for anyone wondering what my diet looks like now, I think it looks the best that it's ever been. So I am getting eggs literally down the road, the animals free roam, they're not put in any cages or even any fencing around whatsoever, so they're completely pasture raised. It's just so much forest around me, you would not believe. It's absolutely amazing, the air quality here is just wow, so good for me. And then I'm also getting local fruits that are in season. So we had a load of chemidac recently, which is a part of the jackfruit family. Then yesterday we got some local freshly picked papaya and also local coconuts as well. And none of this stuff has been sprayed with pesticides whatsoever. It's some of the most highest quality fruit. So I'm normally eating a variety of those different things early in the day. Yes, I'm still doing intermittent fasting. And then I'll normally have a meal of loads of those eggs made into scrambled eggs. I'm cooking them less and less and less over time because the less it's cooked, the more nutrition they have in it. And then I will eat a variety of different meats, but pretty much the only meat that I'm eating now is beef. I have experimented with pork, tried that once. I didn't like that at all. I had a really bad experience with it. I will make a video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, talking about why I'm not gonna be eating it in my diet at all and why I do not recommend it to anyone whatsoever. Tomorrow, I'm also gonna be trying some salmon. I also have some organic grass-fed halloumi cheese. Yes, it's very nice, but I noticed it's very addictive. I tried it twice and I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna have it on a very rare basis because it is that addictive and I don't wanna be eating things due to just an addictive 
reason that comes up within me. As I mentioned, I'm getting the most highest quality animal foods possible. I have some organic grass-fed ghee arriving soon and beef tallow. So I'm just waiting for some other things, including Tasmanian beef liver, so I can have the widest variety of the healthiest, most nourishing foods possible. I'm not gonna put myself in a box and say, I'm only eating this food, because all that exists is the present moment. Sometimes I'm a fruitarian in the moment, the next thing I'm a carnivore, and so on. Because I've just learned from my own personal experience over the years, it can be very dangerous to be in a box, and then you don't wanna come out of that box and everything out of inside of it, you end up demonizing. It's just not a very good way to have a healthy relationship with food. It makes you form a very unhealthy relationship with it. And all the fish is coming direct from Alaska because that is where you get some of the most highest quality fish. Yes, it comes a long way, but that's what I have to be doing, at least at this current moment. And to me, it just makes sense because this is more of a way that we would be eating in our natural environment, eating different types of whole foods and not just eating the same thing consistently over and over again. And it's working for me. It's working for so many other people doing a very similar thing. So I will continue down this path. Just because you say it's not good, doesn't mean it is necessarily not good. Do what works for you, and I'll do what works for me. Everyone is different, not one size fits all. So try out some different things, and do the things that make you feel good and resonate with you and in line with your morals and your ethics and so on. And that's all that matters. I don't care what anyone eats. It's just down to them at the end of the day. As long as it's not affecting me in a negative way directly or my loved ones, then that's all I care about. And for me, I am my number one priority. A lot of vegans say, we just stay on the vegan diet and just to keep deteriorating. And it's like, oh my God, are you absolutely being ridiculous or what? You just want me to be violent towards myself and damage me with a diet which I'm not thriving on? That makes no sense whatsoever. I would recommend anyone do that of anything in life that's not making them feel good. Find something that makes you feel good and just try and be as conscious around the choices as much as possible so you're not completely destroying the planet and harming other things in the most cruel ways possible, like in these factory farms where they just enslave animals in the most horrific environments that are just pff, so, so bad. Do your research into that if you don't know about it. I highly recommend that you do become aware of this. And yeah, it's just such a shame that we just have so many people in the world that are very unconscious, that like to project their own beliefs onto people and hate on people and just put all their resentments onto them and so forth and just be these keyboard warriors that come online and just throw loads of slander at you that don't even know you whatsoever. It's like judging a book by its cover. You haven't seen me in my everyday life. You don't know me fully. I am transparent as much as I possibly can on this. But you know what I want in the world? I want the world to be the most loving, compassionate, empathic environment that we can live in, which means that all the humans are like that as much as we can possibly get the humans to do that. Because obviously we're not gonna be able to get everyone to do this, but I'm someone that really practices type of communication to be as empathic and compassionate to other people and understanding. There's so many walls in the world that separate people, religion, diets and so forth with all these dogmatic things in the world. And to be honest, we need more things that bring people together. And on my vegan diet, I've never cared what anyone else is doing. It's down to them at the end of the day. They're still my friend and my family members. Guess what? They're all pretty much vegan and they're absolutely fine that I'm doing this with this whole switch to animal foods. Guess why? Because they love and accept me unconditionally. Not because I just eat a specific diet or do this specific thing. It doesn't matter what I do in my life. They have always completely accepted me and not pushed me out whatsoever. Unlike so many of these people in the vegan cult, they're just like, you were never vegan and all this crap. It's like, guess what? I'm still not paying for any things that are not food based that comes from animals. So no clothes, carpet upholstery, bathroom products, wash products, cleaning products, or any of this stuff that really isn't necessary to have what so ever. So on the side of veganism, apart from the food stuff, I agree with everything else that they are talking about. But something that is really, really bad is like, they say that all animal foods are destroying the planet, but it's only the factory farm sources that is doing that. So it's a bit of a half truth. 
So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you made the switch from a vegan diet to an animal-based diet, let us know down below how you felt before and how you felt afterwards. Maybe you can help some people with your own story in the comments section. And like the video if you like it, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.